We give all the glories to the Lord. Let us bless each other. Have a peace in your heart. You are the evangelist who will save this world. You will take the good land that I promised. The beginning point of all the answers is the moment that you find yourself, you find your identity. This very moment today, you and I must understand um, the, the blessings and enjoy the blessings. And he called us his children and the covenant of God. And through his blessings and due blessings, you will experience in your walk of faith. The World Business Conference finished yesterday. Not only the business people, but also all the church members uh, listen to this message, and you must organize this message. And until the end of this year, And this message must be uh, sent to all the members and even who do not attend the seminar, this conference. So this will change uh, the flow of the age and you will be the evangelist who will flow this, this current. The best answers of God is the blessing of the throne. The reason God sent Jesus Christ is within this. And Jesus came down to this earth, and the first message he gave to his disciples is that in the, the book Matthew 14, that you must repent your sins, and uh, the kingdom is near. That is the blessing of the throne. And before ascending to heaven, he gathered all the disciples in the book of Acts 1.13. And he talked about, one, one three, he talked about the kingdom of God in his throne for 40, 14 days. If you experience this, then you will experience the throne of God. All the remnants and his church members. If you want to build up your power and your abilities, it's not about against the world. It's about you must gain this the, uh, the power of the throne. When you are studying and when you are working, and you must use this power. And in the throne, the power of the throne, and you can transcend time and place, and you can experience the power of the light from the Lord. These mysterious blessings will be given to those who are created by His own, own in His own image. So He created the man in His own image, and chapter two, verse seven, says that He. Uh, breathed it into his nostrils and he started having the life. So he gave this breath to his children and when he breathed into his nostril, then the breath, breath of life, it became the breath of life. So in your life, you must recover the image of God and that's it, that's all. So our life revives every day with the spirit that there is nothing to worry about. So God gave these blessings and to give these blessings, He created His people in His own image and they became alive. Jesus crucified and 
resurrected and he showed himself for the first day to his disciples. John chapter 20, verse 22. And with that, the breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. And breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. What's the meaning? Of by breathing on them, that's the same thing with this in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Then he breathed into his nostrils, then became the breath of life. And John the Baptist received this message and realized this. Then God let us breathe the whole, only one spirit. And when you receive this blessed uh, Holy Spirit, then the, you will experience the first blessing in Eden. God's Spirit upon you, then you will experience the perfect blessing of the Eden that once had been lost. And the most important thing is that You, God gave the breathe this blessing of the throne in your nostril. That's why you can shape your uh, formation of your spirit. So in your life, uh, this the uh, blessings will be revealed. So day by day, in your spirit, in your soul, what do we look for with our spirit? We must look forward to this blessing of the throne because he put everything in this throne. So our soul is always heading for the throne of God. Our, the direction of our thoughts is heading toward our minds and our minds heading toward our soul and our spirit soul is uh, in two diverted into two directions whether you have god or not it depends on whether you have god or not so your spirit the direction of your life must toward the throne of god From that moment, then you just to look up to the Lord and the throne, then everything related to you, in other words, the, um, the, the blessing of the throne is delivered through uh, the power that transcend, transcends time and place. So everything will be delivered. mediated by your spirit in the throne. So that's the word evangelization. So the most important thing is that the throne and the power that transcending time and place and the light toward two, three, seven nations. You must first experience these three things. Otherwise, people are suffering a lot. They always set up their goal, their own goals, and heading toward the goals with their own, own strong wills. And they, they diligently work because they need to achieve their goals. They do not believe the, the power transcending time and place. And they cannot believe the throne of the bless, blessing of the throne. That's why, with their will, then they detour, they go forward to their. own goals. So the people with a strong will and the people in the world might uh, give the compliments like, oh, this person is very great. And they are achieving their own goals and by looking at them and worldly people give them a big applause and give a big compliments on them. Before I said, Uh, we, the Korean people, were called like the people with a strong will. And try, people try to find the person with the strongest will. 
That is the world because they do not know the blessing of the throne. They do not know the power transcending time and place in this world. They just go for their own goals and their life. So people are encouraging them, supporting their will. They are heading toward their own directions. They do not know about this, so they just take the standards of the world. So all, even the, the people in um, this world just go forward with this standard because they do not know anything else. They do not know about this, the power, transcending power and the light and the throne of blessings. They need to survive in this world with their own strengths. That's why they are always living in worries and concerns. They are afraid of things around them because they need to leave the things from the world which cannot give them, them the perfect satisfactions. They need to be competitive. They need to live in the competitive world and they need to step up on others. They need to beat others. And in In the end, they end up wrestling and racing, but they face limits in the end. They do not look all around or other sides, but look forward. But in fact, they do not know anything about the things from above, so they cannot Um, be satisfied they are always wandering around without any satisfaction so they fall into the world of Nephilim so in the conflicts and all the wonders they just try to find some fortune tellers and to try to find something else that foresees the future and they just fall into this Nephilim then with the fill of full of this Nephilim then they definitely face the limits then the limits will lead them to their um, committing suicide God, ble- God promised the best blessing is the throne the transcending power and the light of the three seven nations they do not enjoy these things so they That's why they just live in such a way. So the most important thing is that you must find yourself, you must find the, this old, uh, that transcending power throne and the po- light, power of light in your prayers day by day. Otherwise, even you are in the walk of base very diligently and you're very hard, hard working, but and your walk of faith you as long as you lose hold of this these three uh, blessings and you will face failures there's no exception even pastors church members you must definitely find and experience the throne of god that is it the throne and the power transcending time and place and the light towards two, three, seven nations. If you cannot find the answers within these, then might be very, you might have very difficult time. You might have difficulty finding your own answers. Without these, then you are not satisfied uh, with anything else. And try to make up for your limits that's that brings you uh, brings you about um, about the prayers and they just prayed a lot uh, without any uh, perfect focus they tried to make up for their um, lacks then they might face very serious spiritual problems. What about this world? Last week, I just talked about this briefly. And the knowledge of the world is 
developing and advancing. And day by day, they are changing. And they, the knowledge is very fast. And when you wake up next morning, then you will face the new thing again. But the, the, there is such no, um, there is nothing about this spiritual power uh, which we must know first. When they uh, hear of the Satan's, what is the Satan? And it's not about the fighting against flashes. You must fight against the Satan's in the air. And this um, evil spirit tried to corrupt everything, every happening in this world, in the, the field of politics and field of authorities. It has a power and tried to spread this evil spirit toward, um, to other people because so many uh, people with this evil spirit spreading all around this world, they are falling into their own pleasures, gamblings, because they cannot get out of this darkness background of Satan. So the serious problems in this field is the spiritual problems and background the, of the evil spirits. And we have more and more knowledge, but they are ignorant of the spiritual power. There are so many people competent, and so many people are attending Seoul National University. Some people might say that it's very difficult to get into this national universities, but some people, some of them are very brilliant and very smart when they listen to one thing and they know 10 things. But the, the most important thing is within the spiritual power. They do not have any spiritual power at all. If they face difficulties, they just commit suicide. If they are angry, they cannot control themselves. So they might kill people because they do not have any spiritual power. So many potent people, but uh, without any spiritual power, they are ignorant of the spiritual powers. They do not have any spiritual power, and they are just living a life, such a life. Within the church, we also have these figures of the world. And so, um, the church centered is also it's toward the world centered. And the working of the Satan tried to deceive us, and we end up uh, falling into the era of Nephilim. So, as time goes by, the world is in crisis. They cannot get out of this crisis. And the Bible prophesied this. And the end will have more troubles. In one word, and every part of the world will face this crisis. The, uh, we face COVID-19. It is just one of them. Uh, it's this just one iceberg, one tip of the iceberg. And we must think about what we must grab hold of. That is the true answer. So we must have a deep root in this blessing of salvation of our field. Um, you have the deep roots in your field with this blessing of the salvation. And with this blessing of salvation, what is the most important part in this title? First, find your identity. You are a covenant people. You, We are the covenant people, people of the covenant. We didn't read this, but there is one very important message. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, Love your Lord your God with your heart, with your soul, and with your own strength. With your all strengths. You must love your Lord your God with, your, with all your heart. That is the absolute value of the gospel. When you love your Lord with your heart, with your soul, and with your strengths. 
That means you must realize the absolute value of God. Then you can love your God with your heart, soul, and strength. The moment that you realize the absolute value of God, then you will find the answer that to who you are and what you are, and you will find your identity within it. I am the one by the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm the one, the covenant pe- uh, person, and you will find your identity out of this covenant. That's right. The absolute value of God, in other words, the absolute value of the gospel must be realized. Then you will gain the answers that you are the covenant of. Uh, you are a child of the covenant. Then what is the meaning of that, that you are becoming a child of God? God created in His own image. That means God blessed us as a the child of the covenant. He breathed it in, in his nostrils in the book of Genesis. That is that we are a child of the covenant. Our, that's our status. God's spirit is dwelling us and he became a life. That is our identity. That's our, our status. then we will go for this blessing of Eden. As you know well, the the Garden of Eden is a perfect place without any limitations. So many people are complaining and blaming about these circumstances and environments, but they just lost the blessing of Eden. Of course, the conditions and circumstances are important, but Once God breathed it in your nostrils and you became a life, then your life related to you, um, everything related to your life will experience the blessing of the Eden. So your identity and God is the covenant of God and God has the absolute value. Then if you realize this, then the, what is the answer of this? That's the Chapter 6, verse 10. Let's read it all together. Uh, and when the Lord your God brings you into the land that you swore to your fathers, the, to Aram, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you the, with great and good cities that you did not build, the blessings when you are grabbing hold the covenants, and the answers are. you will get into the lands that God promised. That's verse 10. Then we'll give uh, his sword to your fathers, and and you will uh, be given these great cities that you did not build. You did not build, but you will uh, receive the great and good cities. Even you did not build, how can you uh, get these great and good cities? How can you get possess the good lands that God promised? No fightings, no competitions. God is the covenant of God. As a child of God, if you realize that you are the child of the covenant, then you will receive these great cities. Then I will get you into the lands that I promised. and I will get you these great and good cities. That means that God will give you the blessings of the throne, the, of the world in this world. And as a child of God, as the child of the covenant, if you realize this identity, then the God, we will experience the kingdom of God on earth. Whenever we go, wherever we go, then God will promise the lands that God will let us get into the land. That, in other words, God will give us these blessings of the of the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom of God transcending time and place, and it is actualizing on this world. That is the that is the kingdom of God. Uh, once you realize who you are, and not only this, but also. Um, we, Sometimes you might be afraid of the fields, 
because we do not understand and realize this blessing of the throne. And the throne and light and the transcending power were given to us, but whenever we get into the fields, then we are afraid of something. That's the background of the darkness. You don't need to be afraid of anything in this field. God will let us do so because God, God is a light in this field. So whenever we take steps, then we will experience the kingdom of God, transcending time and place and the light. There will be light, then the darkness will disappear. And this very moment, um, if you face uh, some difficulties and worries and concerns, then you will enjoy the blessings of the light. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, then you, you will experience the light of creation. And you will experience light of the recovery. And in the book of Peter, first Peter, then you will experience the blessing of the conquering. What is the reason that the people are afraid of things? Because they are uh, they are possessed by these darknesses. But if you are to realize that you are the, the child of the covenant with the, the power of the throne and every field will be filled with light disappearing, uh, the darkness disappearing. So in all these blessings will happen when you realize this, your identity. Repeat after me, I'm a child of the covenant. Whenever, whoever understands this value, the absolute value of the covenant, everything will be given to them. Verse 11, the house is filled with all kinds of good things you did, you did not provide well, you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. It's not about the free of charge. And when you realize that you are a child of the covenant and you will realize the true value of the uh, the gospel, then it's not the, uh, it's the blessings that will be taken by you, and you will be filled with all kinds of good things, and you will have the wealth you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves and you did not plant, and you will eat and be satis you are satisfied. That is the the value of the gospel and the covenants. And day by day, you must realize and you must experience these. Otherwise, and Jesus paid back to all our debts. Even so, still you are just living a life like a debtor. that then you are losing hold of all the blessings. And surprisingly, so many people are living like this. He paid back all our sins, but still we are suffering from all these debts and worried about paying all things back with your own strengths. You must realize and you must achieve this absolute values in your life. Verse 12, the be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. So don't forget these things. You, as a child of God, as a child of the covenant, if you are in the wilderness, and even if you are in the wilderness, then you will uh, find the answers in the most difficulties. Israel people in the wilderness, they face the difficulties, but God always take care of them. While living on this earth, so many people um, face so many problems, but God loved us so much, then God gave these answers to us, and you must find this. You, without looking at these answers, so many people like Israel, people complaining about uh, things happening around them. 
if you just find this true value of the salvation, then the problem is not the problem at all. It's the path toward the blessings. The verse 14 and verse 15 says that do not, do not be deceived by the uh, values and value of things like uh, do not do not let the evil spirit steal your um, your blessings because of this uh, these things without the value. As long as you do, do not serve this evil spirits and devils, and God will fight on the sake of us. And verse 18 and 19 says that it's about the working of God who will give us the salvation and fighting for us. You shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may go well with you, and that you may go in and take possessions of the good land. And the Lord swore to give you your fathers by thrusting out all the enemies from before you, as the Lord has promised. Once you realize the true value of the, the salvations, and all the enemies will be driven away, God will deal with these troubles. We are a child of God. We are a child of the covenant. So we must check this day by day. In other words, we must find you must find your identities in God as a child of the covenant. Uh, throughout this world, we must be used. We must be a witness to spread this true gospel. That's why God called us the child of um, child of the covenant do not be do not be shaken because I mean I said this is about the marathon and the marath marathon the athletes in the marathon race then they do not worry about they do not concern about anything uh, the beside this the race any other Stickles because so like this, then God will uh, get rid of all these obstacles. So you can just to uh, just run your race. Uh, the problem is not a problem at all. In the book of chapter eight twenty, so all things were twenty eight, and all things were. Um, we will be achieved by the purpose, the purpose of God. Second, we must stand before the posterity. You must stand before your next generation. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 20, when your son asks you, In the future, your children might ask you this question. You must be ready to answer this question. We are not perfect. I'm not talking about you must be perfect. You might make mistakes and might fall down. But whenever we fall down, we must look up to the Lord. Then children will see you looking up the Lord. The difficulties and the troubles may give you the trouble in your life and feel so many things are, uh, worries are very big, but you might be disappointed that. And the book of Psalm and David was about talking about his worries and concerns if it's like uh, he was very 
um, suffering a lot about his problems, but it's like a waterfall of the God. It's very, very big sounds, but he always look up to the Lord whenever he faced difficulties. And in things were visible in this world and the standards of the world. And, but we must go forward with the standard of uh, the kingdom of God and the uh, throne of life and transcending power must be our power that must be passed them down on to your next generations. In the future, your God, uh, your son, will ask this question. Is there are people out of Egypt and hands of the Pharaoh like they experienced the, um, the blessings of God. So we must pass all these blessings down to your next posterity. Especially when your son asked your, ask about your life and the answer then you may, you may say that the God was my background and with these blessings the throne of blessings and salvations I just came up to now. That's your next past posterity will see this and uh, gain the same answers. The gospel is the standards of this world. The child, by looking at you, then they will realize this the absolute answer, the absolute, um, we, when we are talking about the families in the gospel and the elite families in the gospel is about, of course, they have the, the, the work of faith uh, for four generations. That is great, but of course, but you must think about this close links from your fathers and the two sons and children. Abraham uh, gave his son to as a sacrifice, and Isaac found this work of faith in his eyes. But about a, about the Lot, they couldn't, he couldn't uh, have this work of faith in his life, and Lot's um, sons-in-law and they just uh, joked about this work of faith. And this era is just what, um, even worse, or worse than this, the era of Lot. They are not pursuing these right lessons. It's, it's much worse than this era of the Lot. They try to find someone else to who will please their ears. If you relay these true gospels to your next generations, then the, all the Hana Church members will pass all everything, all messages like Christ is. Everything is in Christ to your children, and you must be like these parents. Of course, you can give them the good conditions and environments, uh, but the world is giving them the kind of ways to be collapsed. So you must find your true messages uh, giving to your children that every, all treasures is within the gospel. And verse 22 says that Arah and the Lord showed the sign and wonders great and grievous against the Egypts and against the Pharaohs. And 23 is that the God will give us that lens that He swore to is uh, our fathers, and we must command all these degrees, decrees, and statutes. Then when you commit your life to this um, work, like giving, passing down these words, then the answers will arise in your family. 
The Holy Spirit is with us to the end of the world. And your wisdom and memories are within the control of God. And the book of Corinthians and the Holy Spirit is transcends out the parts of God. Even our wisdom and knowledge and memories. So my past can be a platform of my life and cause the, with the Holy Spirit, God is controlling our lives. My difficulties, my past can be the platform of my life. And my all futures depend on future depend on depend on God's hand and all the reality is within God and within his will. What kind of facts are you facing? Within this there is very big plan of God. These are people facing this Red Sea. So many people worried about this. But God, through these difficulties like a Red Sea, God had a big plan before them. And it was split it, and they just found the dry land and the Red Sea. So they just found the great plan of God. As a child of the covenant, of course, there are problems, but that's uh, the plan of God. We cannot understand this, but so many things happening around us is under the control of God. That's the God's good wills and the blessings within it. Jeremiah chapter 9, 20 and 29 chapter verse 11, where I know the plans I have for you. Declare the Lord the plan to prosper you and not to harm you. So we, our life must be used by the hands of the Lord with his will, with his plan. Love your God with your hearts and with your soul. And you must find the absolute plan with God, in, within God. And otherwise, you cannot find your identities and status. Then, even you, if, if you do not, unless you find your identities, and every failure will come to you. And the field you must have a deep root uh, of the blessings of salvation in your field. Every step you take, you will start receiving these blessings. Father God, thank you that everything is within God. Please let us experience this and with your uh, powers and all the throne and the lights and transcending powers will be given to us in our field. Please be with us and let us experience these blessings. I pray in Jesus' holy, wonderful name. Amen.